Hi, my name is Mike. I'm here from Hot Yoga Naperville. Breaking down the Hot series, which is based on the Bikram um, practice, we do it in a 60 minute class. Um, you will still do most of the 26 postures and the two breathing. Um, <clears throat> this is the second posture, second set of postures in the series. Um, it's standing half moon is what we begin with. So we inhale, we reach the arms up overhead. We interlace the fingers, taking a moment, the feet are together, tailbone tucks under just a little tiny bit and we lengthen up out of the waist. Gaze is forward, arms back with the ears. And as we inhale, stretching up nice and long and then we begin to bend the body right and left a couple times, just warming up the spine. Coming back to center, again, gaze is straight forward. Inhale as you lengthen, and as we exhale, now we're going to bend the body to the right, gaze is forward, keeping the weight even in the feet. Left hip presses out, hips and shoulders in one plane. So you pull that left shoulder back, arms alongside the ears, gaze is forward, palms squeeze together as you reach up and over, stretch stretch, stretch, inhale as we come back up to center. Once again, lengthen, and now we're going to bend the body to the right. So it's the same action, just stretching into the right side of the body at this point. So make sure the weight stays even in the feet, so that right foot presses down into the mat, right hip presses out. So notice that beautiful half moon shape that you're creating right side of the body, stretching up and over, stretch, stretch, inhale as you come back up to center. We're going to come into a back bend. First one of the night, I usually recommend the hands come to the low back. Just have a waistband or maybe just tuck them into your jeans pocket. Just squeeze the elbows together, take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, shift the weight into the heels, press the hips and belly forward, reach the chest up to the sky. Gaze coming back. Feeling any discomfort or pain in the low back, come out a little bit. Press the chest up higher and arch the spine a little more. You're going to come out a little bit. You're going to press up a little bit higher and then push over it to center. Now maybe you're going to do the second set the same exact way, depending on how the back feels. Another option in the back bend is with the arms up overhead. Interlaced fingers, we're just going to keep the fingers interlaced like we did in the half moon. We're going to stretch up out of the waist, and as we exhale, we're just going to start to hit or round the spine. Again, weight shifts into the heels, hips and belly press forward, chest reaches up. Now the gaze is looking at that point that spot you're pointing at and as you inhale coming back up to center as we exhale we're going to engage the core we're going to bend the knees and we're going to bring the hands to the mat so we're working to warm up the low back so a little cha-cha-cha action a couple deep knee bends and then bending the knees as much as you need to so listen to the body and it depends on how tight the hamstrings and the low back are we're going to reach around and grab the heels. And as we start to pull on the heels, we begin to straighten the knees. Hips coming up in space. Spine nice and straight. Gaze in between the knees toward the back wall. Crown of the head stretches down toward the tops of the feet. And you're feeling a lengthening in the backs of the legs. Into the spine even feeling the crown of the head reaching down toward the mat. Pull on the heels, pull, pull one more time, and as you gently release, inhale, sweeping all the way up to standing, arms up overhead, and arms float down by your side. We always do two sets. Second set may have some little minor variations, but if you're new to the practice, listen to the instruction, and take a little guidance from students that are working around you. It's always a good thing 
to kind of mimic and see what else is happening in the room. For now, namaste.